So that's what happens if you're booming up and you're raising the boom or the jib, you're not paying attention. So don't do that. So on the website, there'll be plenty of videos telling you how to compute all the forces. Uh, you can have a, let's say you have a, a two brick load and the boom is at, like right now, it's, let's say it's 60 degrees. And you have one brick for counterweight. Everything's, everything's good. If the boom goes down to, let's say, 30 degrees, and you have, let's say you have three brick counterweight. I'm sorry, you have a load of three bricks and only one, one brick for counterweight. This is what could happen. So you got to pay attention to the, I call it, uh, run the numbers. Figuring out the amount of torque or moment caused by the, the load that wants to tip the crane over clockwise. The weight of the load and the weight of the boom wants to tip the crane this way. Here's the pivot point, just like a seesaw. There'll be explanations on the website for all of that. So the weight of the, the, the load and the boom, that moment or torque wants to tip the crane this way. And the weight of the crane body and the counterweight wants to tip it the other way. You've got to make sure they're in balance, otherwise you're in trouble. So this is all, all yours for the easy uh, single payment of $750, free delivery to uh, the Portland, Oregon metro area.